Hello, my name is Douglas from Baltimore County Public Library and welcome to our next installment of Cooking by the Book. Today, I'm really excited. We are making a pie. We're using Pieometry by Lauren Ko. She is known for her Instagram in Loco Kitchen. And this book, uh, she uses very much uh, geometric shapes in design to create a variety of wonderful pie crusts. It's a beautiful book. And today we are making something called Heads and Scales. It's a blueberry mint curd, and we are making a speculoos crust, which is relatively easy. I've never made a curd before, so let's see what happens. The first thing we're going to be doing is making our speculoos crust. This is relatively easy. We're using one package. Um, I'm using the Biscoff brand, but any speculoos cookie will work. I'm also using six tablespoons of melted butter, and that's it for the crust. You take your rolling pin, and all we're gonna do is we are going to whack the cookies until they are perfectly crushed into sand. Now remember, as you're doing this, you want this as fine as sand as you can. So occasionally pick it up, move the uh, cookies around, turn it over and flip, and you'll be able to actually get it more crushed. And then I have melted six tablespoons of butter. And I'm just going to pour that in. So we're going to make basically quicksand, uh, consistency of a sandcastle. I'm not making a sandcastle, but uh, we are just kind of going to stir this up and I'm just going to push my speculoos into the pie pan and I'm just going to use my hands to press. Start from the middle and push out. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the oven. I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes on 350. The only thing I need to do is let this set. When I take it out of the oven, I'm gonna set it, I'm gonna let it cool, uh, give it about an hour to kind of cool down, maybe even put it in the refrigerator because we want it to be chilled by the time we put the curd in. But this is all you need for your speculoos crust. What I need is the zest of one lemon and I need four mint leaves. I need to get these ground up really nicely, so I am going to try a trick that I think should work. We are going to use a coffee grinder, which can double as an herb grinder, and we're gonna see what happens. I've got my zest ready to go. I've got my mint leaves. And my favorite thing about this recipe is that Lauren Co. writes, at this moment, you take your lemons and mint and you pause for a moment to take a deep smell for a moment of aromatherapy. Perfect. And now I have added a half cup of sugar and I'm just gonna add my lemon zest and my mint to the half cup of sugar and then I'm gonna give this a nice stir. This is going to be added uh, to the curd um, when we uh, prepare the blueberries. I am using two cups of fresh blueberries. You can use frozen, um, either way, uh, whatever you have. And I'm just gonna place these um, into my saucepan. I'm going to add one tablespoon of water and then add a little heat. Now, all I'm gonna do, this is gonna take a while and I will be back with you when it's done, but I'm going to cook this down. I'm gonna let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And so now what I want to do is I want to strain out all the liquid. So what I'm gonna do is I have a fine uh, mesh strainer and I am just going to add all of my blueberries into the strainer. I'm gonna lift and then I'm gonna start pressing because what you wanna really do is you wanna get all of that wonderful juice, as much juice as you can out of the blueberries. And hopefully they will end up in the bowl and not your children or your dog or yourself. Just be careful. Um, in my pan is the blueberry puree that we have just made. I'm using a quarter cup of lemon juice, a quarter teaspoon of salt. I have my mixture of the half cup of sugar, lemon zest, and mint. I have two whole eggs and two egg yolks whipped up. 
and I have a uh, four tablespoons of butter and I've cut these into cubes. I'm gonna start with my sugar, lemon juice, and salt. I'm gonna whisk in my eggs. I'm gonna continuously whisk and then when that comes to a boil, I'm gonna start adding my butter. This is, is kind of coming along nicely. I'm gonna let this uh, get up to heat, and then what I'm going to start doing is I'm gonna be starting adding the butter one cube at a time. Now all my butter is in, um, I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes, and that should thicken it nicely. Um, and right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fill the pie crust with my curd. I'm gonna take this to the oven. I'm going to bake it only for five minutes at 350. This is just to set the curd. Most of this is gonna happen in the refrigerator. Once I pull it out of the oven, I'm gonna let it cool a bit, and then I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator to refrigerate. Then the curd should set really nicely. I'm just going to add my curd, and that is nice, and we're smoothed out right now. And now I'm gonna put this in the oven, and I'm gonna bake it for five minutes. This is the part where we're going to be decorating. She used um, a kiwi to create a set of scales. I'm a little bit nervous because I am not that adept at decorating. So I'm gonna be creating a swirl pattern with blackberries and raspberries. And really with, with blackberries and raspberries, um, the curd has set really well. So I can um, actually just set these right on top and I can create any kind of pattern that I want. I think we did a perfect good job. I do think, again, like I said, this one's a little more for complicated chefs. A little people with better technical knowledge would benefit more from pyometry, but I definitely think the photography is beautiful. I'm gonna give this one a double thumbs up.